Hello again for USCFSales.com. I'm Steve Lopez with another Fritz tip for you. We've been looking at various features of the Let's Check server, the new features in Fritz 13, a worldwide community of chess players and computer users who are analyzing chess positions. We've looked at a pile of ways to analyze positions using Fritz and contribute your analysis to the worldwide community. There's another feature we've not looked at yet and I'd like to cover it because it seems to be a little bit underutilized. And that is the feature that allows you to add text commentary to individual positions. A lot of people aren't using this yet and it's a cool feature and I'd really like to show it to you. So we'll begin here as we always do at the beginning you've just fired up Fritz and I've gone to a particular position in Fritz 13 which if you are a gambiteer, a swashbuckler, you'll recognize that this is the Cochrane Gambit. This is the defining position of the Cochrane. What this is is a Petrov defense. When black plays 3d6, instead of pulling the knight back to f3, which is kind of the standard mainline Petrov, instead, and by the way, by pulling the knight back to f3, you kind of put the ball in black's court. Black can do a number of different things there. So for those of us who are lazy, who are underachievers like myself, who don't want to learn a ton of opening theory, we play something very strange that to some Petrov players that goes back to the 1840s, as I recall, when John Cochran first sprung this on an unsuspecting world when he threw the knight out and took the pawn on f7. The king has to take, otherwise, you know, you lose the queen or the rook if you move the queen. So the king generally takes and you wind up with what's known as the Cochrane Gambit and what's happened is that, well, you'll see, you'll see my text comment here directly. This is the position I want to comment upon. So after getting to this position, after playing out the moves in the opening book or just by making them on the chessboard, as we've seen before, you go to the engine menu and click on the Let's Check button to connect to the server and you wind up here. I've resized some of the windows. You need a little bit bigger text box to see what's going on here. So I've made it a little bit bigger. It's this purple or violet. I'm sure some artist will email me and tell me I'm wrong, but this is going to look different on different monitors. On my monitor, it's sort of a violet shade, but it's the text box. Uh, any text that you type will appear in this box after you've submitted it. Now, how do you submit it? Oh, by the way, notice down here, just to call your attention to this once again, uh, I've just connected to the server. 303 people are online. It welcomes me by my play chess handle. And there's my speed index. I'm using Fritz 13. The engine doesn't matter. You're not even using the engine for this feature. But I've got Fritz 13 loaded, which is a pretty quick little engine for being a one processor engine. So how do you write a text comment? I want to make a short comment about the Cochrane Gambit for the benefit of other players. How do I do it? Very simply, over here in the text box, the purple box, you have some buttons down below. Click the Write button, because we want to write a comment. So click right and you'll see this. This allows you to type in an annotation. Now, I have my program set up for English, as you can see by my menus and commands. The guys who program this are in Germany. They're obviously going to be Eurocentric as a result, so they have a picture of a Union Jack instead of an American flag. There is technically, I disagree with this, but there's technically no difference between English across the pond and English here. Of course, anyone who's listened to my videos for any length of time and heard my voice, and by the way, thank you for your comments, uh, knows that there is a big difference between English in Britain and English in the States, particularly in the southern states. Thank you. Anyway, I just brought that up because some people I know are going to be horribly offended by the fact that it's a Union Jack rather than a U.S. flag. It doesn't matter. I'm just telling you why that's there. Whatever uh, language you have your program set up in, you're going to have a uh, little flag appear there. I have a sneaking suspicion that at some time in the future these buttons are going to be activated and what you'll be able to do is push on a button for what language you want to have it appear in and that at some time you'll be able to block text comments that are in languages that you don't understand. For example, so far there have been a lot of comments in German. I don't speak German. So 
I would be able to block German comments and only have English comments. But I think that's what all the blank blocks are. I think we're going to have different flags there at some point in the future. So just be aware if you're in the States, this is the Union Jack, the English flag. That means English as the language in the comment box. As you see here, please write only comments related to the current position. Please respect the copyright of other authors. Don't be just cheesing something out of a book and typing it in. And of course you have a highlighted box that says type your comment here. Think of this as Twitter. If you're familiar with Twitter. If you use Twitter you have 140 characters total to make your statement. This gives you 144 characters. You only have four more characters than you have in Twitter when you send out a tweet. So keep your comment brief. You can't write a multi-paragraph exegesis on the Cochrane Gambit. You just have to say something very brief. So after I've typed my comment, it'll look like this, where I've written Cochrane Gambit, White gives up a knight for two pawns, and the attack. Very simple little comment. I used probably about two-thirds of the characters that I'm allowed. And when I'm done, I can click OK right here. And what we'll see then is this. Down here, thank you for your comment. New comment from Armistead, and it has the text of my comment. Cochrane Gambit, White gives up a knight for two pawns in the attack. And here we see the text of my comment, my name, and how many likes and, and unlikes, dislikes there have been so far. Obviously there would be no likes and unlikes, I just put it up. But that does explain what some of the other buttons are down here below. And that's what we're going to look at here in a second after I get a sip of coffee. Thank you. We have several buttons at the bottom here, and you can do several things. Uh, depending on whether it's your comment or someone else's. One of them is if I have typed this comment and I've put three G's in the word night so it says Knigget like in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, I can go back, click on my text comment, click edit, and just change it. You know, correct the spelling, whatever I need to do. If later on I start getting piles of private messages from people who hate the Cochran Gambit with a blind, reckless passion, start screaming at me for even having a text comment there or for whatever reason I can highlight it by clicking on it and click the delete button and I can delete my own comment please note you cannot edit other people's comments you cannot delete other people's comments okay just your own so don't even try if it's not yours but I can go back and fix it if I've misspelled something or if I want to change the way I've worded it whatever I can go back and edit it I can also delete it for whatever reason for other people's comments, which we don't see in this view, but for example, if you get online and you go to 1E4, you'll see a passel of comments there. There's a bunch of stuff that people have written, including me. I added a comment to 1E4. I put in the old uh, Giola Briar line about after 1E4, White's game is in its death throes, just to see if I could get a reaction out of people. I've always loved that quote. I don't necessarily believe it's true, but I, I enjoy it. So I put it in there. Well, if somebody really hates that comment, they can highlight it and they can click dislike. If they really like the comment, if they appreciate the, the wit of Beulah Briar, they can highlight that comment and click like. Just like here, I wrote about the Cochrane Gambit. If somebody likes this comment, they can click like on it. If somebody dislikes it, they can click dislike. And there's a tally. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll show you what that does here directly. Uh, but first I want to comment on one more thing and there is a report button. Use that to report offensive comments. Now offensive comments does not mean you don't like the Cochrane Gambit and you wish somebody hadn't written about it. Okay? Offensive comments are things of a you know sexual, racial nature, hate speak, stuff that isn't politically correct. You know the kind of thing I'm talking about. The kind of comments that, to use a euphemism, violate the social contract you know if you know what I'm talking about just just nasty comments or somebody might just put something in there that's that's politically correct but has no uh, no business being on a chess server somebody might be putting a an advertisement or a political statement or whatever it has nothing to do with chess report that stuff 
don't waste the report button well basically don't waste the people's time that have to read the reports don't waste their time just because you don't like the Cochrane gambit or you don't like the Sicilian defense or whatever that's got nothing to do with this just report stuff that is of a offensive nature or a non chess nature that does not belong on the server that's what that's for so to use these three buttons highlight another user's comment click like dislike or report depending on the situation and you don't have to click on a comment by the way if you just see a comment you don't have to like it or dislike it but we encourage you to do so if this is Twitter then the like and dislike button are reddit or dig for you cool kids that do all the social stuff on the internet uh, there are places where you can upload links that you found to websites you thought were interesting and people can upvote or downvote those links that's what the like and dislike buttons are for now what is what is the whole point of the like and dislike button well you if people like your comments you score points if they dislike your comments you lose points what do these points mean I'll show you if you go up to the engine menu you can go here lists of honor click on it it gives you a couple different choices and one of them will bring you to this where it shows you the likes dislikes the relative rankings of people who have had their comments liked and disliked and you see a list of people here with their number of points the more people like your comments the higher you will rank on this list the fewer people like your comments the lower you are on the list and yes it is entirely possible to have negative points here there are some people on the list who have negative points if you click on a person on this list and click show user information it will give you the information about themselves they have submitted to the play chess server because everybody here of course all these nicknames are play chess usernames so that's why you should like or dislike comments basically it just gives people a little reputation it's just a little pat on the back for making a really good helpful comment or it's a big raspberry for somebody saying something that wasn't helpful at all or something silly or ridiculous or whatever it happened to be as you can see here there are not a ton of points here we've got a whole lot of people down here at the bottom with one and two points there aren't tons and tons and tons of people that have used this feature yet so I encourage you to use it it's fun you can write some useful comments they're gonna help people to understand chess positions just bear in mind that you are limited as we back up to a very short comment 144 characters is the limit but once you've made that short comment clicked OK it will appear and people can like and dislike it and if you make enough comments that people enjoy appreciate find helpful you'll find yourself pretty high on this ranking list till next time for USCFSales.com I'm Steve Lopez thank you for watching